statistics problem um, is very different from a math problem and one of the things that makes it different is the use of context and and what that requires and so um, it places a higher reading demand on students than uh, than perhaps uh, textbooks in mathematics and so one of the things that uh, I tried to do with the new project was uh, to be very conscious of uh, the reading level and to try and make the reading level more accessible to a broad range of students. So I've made a big effort to try and choose contexts that are interesting not necessarily to the professors that are teaching the course but that are interesting to the students that are in the class. If you look at a lot of the introductory textbooks these days you see there's a lot of stuff in the textbooks. You see uh, cartoons and historical notes and sidebars and some of them are even pre-highlighted. There's a lot of evidence now, research-based evidence, that many of these things actually distract students from what's important on the page. So we've tried to employ a very simple and clean design um, that helps students be able to focus on what's actually important um, as they, they engage with the material in the textbook. We've included sample activities. With each chapter, there are several activities that are suitable for classroom use that would help instructors bring a more active approach to teaching into the classroom. We've also included sections at the ends of the chapters called Exploring the Big Ideas. These are online sampling-based activities designed to have students start exploring the idea of sampling variability, which is a very difficult but critical concept for students. The ability to calculate various statistics and provide a canned interpretation doesn't really mean much if they don't really have an understanding of what it is they're doing or why they can draw the conclusions that they can. What I have tried to do, and I think it's important, is to try and achieve a better balance between those two things. One of the ways that I've done that is by making sure that each chapter has very clearly stated learning outcomes for students in three categories, um, conceptual understanding, mastering the mechanics, and uh, putting it into practice. By focusing and addressing all three of those things explicitly, both in the text itself and in the exercises that students are asked to solve, that achieves just a much better balance than most other books that are out there.